They're a tiny parasite that can be a huge headache to get rid of. And now they're becoming even harder to kill. Keely Rogers with what's causing a growing breed of super lice. It was itchy and it hurt when you're just, you, you're digging your nails into your skull because it, sti it like stings kind of. As if head lice didn't make you want to scream already. <laughs> Those pesky little scalp suckers have mutated into super lice. The super bug lice is one that's becoming resistant to over-the-counter products. So as parents are using these over-the-counter products thinking that they're working, they're not. 97% of cases in the states and Canada are now chemical resistant, according to a study by the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Lice transfer so easily, so quickly, it just walks from hair to hair. So what's causing these critters to mutate? Well, researchers believe that people haven't been using the creams and sprays properly, which means the bugs aren't dying off and instead they're adapting. So how do you kill super lice then? The only way to get rid of it is to get it out of the head, which is a strand by strand method that guarantees that all the head lice and the nits are removed by going through the hair strand by strand and removing it manually. It's been a hair-raising year for lice at school. We're getting letters home that lice is found in the classroom a lot more frequently than I would have expected. And believe it or not, more and more teenage girls are getting it thanks to selfies. Lice don't jump, but they can crawl to their next victim in seconds, making selfies the perfect breeding ground. Look at us, two blondes having fun. How often would you say you kind of put your head together? In? Very often. If you're worried about getting rid of lice successfully, your best bet is to use the professionals. It averages about $70 an hour. To give you an idea, hair as long as mine would take about an hour and a half. Keely Rogers, City News.